Julie Roginski, a Fox News contributor and Democratic analyst. Julie, good to see you. Great to see you, Megan. You know, you were on the show railing about that Star of David. It looked like a Star of David. Yep. The, the, Trump said it was a sheriff star in, in one of his uh, tweets that he retweeted calling her crooked Hillary. Don't, do you see this as anti Catholic bigotry by the Hillary camp? Well, I see it as Catholics discussing what they consider to be a reformation in their church. And by the way, Pew just came out with a poll a few weeks ago saying exactly the same thing, that the attitudes of American Catholics, this is not a value judgment by me. I'm not Catholic. I certainly have no right to judge anybody in that sense. But what the majority of Catholics in this country feel seems to be very similar to what they're talking about and seems to be very dissimilar from what the Vatican is saying. I'll give you an example. 89% of American Catholics think that contraception is morally acceptable. 65% think employers shouldn't opt out of the law based on religious objection. Uh, you have 64 thinking homosexual behavior is not morally wrong. So if you look at those uh, statistics, you look at the fact that the majority of American Catholics seem to agree with what Jen Palmieri and John Podesta seem to be saying you, in those uh, emails. You're, you're being very charitable in your description of the emails, which are very pejorative in their tone. Very. But they're pejorative, yes, I agree they're pejorative in their tone. I also agree that they're pejorative in their tone towards <laughs> the hierarchy of the Catholic Church. Also towards a couple of Latinos. Maybe, Maybe you saw those, where they referred, where they, there's, uh, there, in August of 2015, Podesta, the campaign chair, urged Mrs. Clinton to reach out to Latinos. The email subject was, needy Latinos and one easy call. And he went on uh, to list Frederico Peña, Bill Clinton's, uh, Clinton's Secretary of Transportation, and former New Mexico, Governor, New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson as the two needy Latinos she should woo. Well, I don't know what sense he meant. Are they Latinos that necessarily wanted to reach out to her and weren't getting the respect? The characterization of the, you know, the Latin, they're just the, the dismissiveness. <laughs> now, you know, if you saw that in a Trump camp email, you'd be going nuts on them. I actually, Megan, I have to say this. On Latinos, I agree with you. On the Catholic thing, it's a little different. And the reason I took such offense at the Star of David tweet is because that's my faith. That's what I believe and yeah, that's what I know. Yeah, but you got to look out for all I mean, if you defend one person, no. of one, one religious belief and the attack on it, You're, then you should be charitable toward all of them. I, I'm charitable, as I said, towards the fact that this seems to me from polling, and again, not my personal view, but it seems to me from polling, the vast majority of American Catholics seem to agree with their view on where Catholicism should you be. You know what, but, that, but I, I'm Catholic, I've lived as a Catholic my whole yep. life, but I haven't heard my fellow Catholics speak with, so snidely about our faith other than in this but email. Are they, but are they speaking they, they snidely? They talk about it in a way that's hopeful, that's maybe somewhat regretful, but not with disdain about our church uh, and our beliefs. I don't know that that was seen, seen as disdain, whether it was seen they as a revolutionary. They were Rupert Murdoch for having that's the nerve different. to baptize his children Catholic. That's different. They were mocking Rupert Murdoch, and that's, as you and I both would agree, that's not acceptable. But they're not mocking, I believe, is the Catholic Church where it is in America today. What they're saying is that we're the Catholic Church, and you specifically don't, the majority of Catholics. You can't mock a man's decision to baptize I'm his not children. I'm not disagreeing and with say you on that. Not ba mocking Catholicism I'm not, or the Church. No, that's no, what no. it is. That's different. why they raised it. Different, different. I disagree with you on that. I think they mocked. There's no excuse to mock a man for practicing his faith the way he wants to practice it. Let's take Rupert Murdoch out of this equation. I think it's wrong to mock people who believe contraception is morally wrong. I think it's, it's wrong, I'm pro-choice, pro to mock people for their pro-life beliefs. What I don't think, what I do think there's a big difference here is that what they're saying is potentially and actually actually in step with what the majority of American Catholics believe. The tone may, a, you already made the tone that point. Me, we the already discussed wrong. that. Now you're yes. repeating yourself. But the, the, po the point is that these people who want Trump out there apologizing for everything he did, and, and he's taken a lot of criticisms for not doing that. God forbid they said, they don't even have to send Hillary out there. Why don't you send your director of communications out there to just own what she said and apologize to the millions of American Catholic voters who you're trying to solicit votes from in this election? Well, I'm stealing the last word. i got to go. See you later. Love you. Mean it.